Okay, so Harvey, we have of course had the news this morning. Um, you've, you've retired from professional cricket due to some issues with concussions. Are you just able to take us through that journey to this moment? Yeah, so um, I've received a number of hits to the head now, uh, some in matches, uh, some in training, uh, and it's resulted in me um, having periods away from the game, uh, periods away from playing. Um, and recently there's been some concern, you know, what another hit to the head might do and, and some of the lasting effects on my health going forward. So, you know, as a sportsman, retiring early is something you never want to consider. Um, but having said that, I think the concerns that have been shown and also recently some of the lasting known effects of concussion uh, becoming known, um, I think it's the right decision that's been made. Yeah, and that's it as well. I mean, you've obviously been in the hands of the medical professionals. You've experienced concussion protocols now uh, a few times. I think is it four concussions you've yeah. had. I mean, what what are your views on the current protocols, and, and is everything being done that you think can be? Yeah, well, concussion is such a topical issue at the moment. I think um, more so in football and rugby, mm. but. Um, as I said, it's the effects are now becoming known of, of what what it does longer term. Yeah. Um, and you know, when you're missing periods of playing and you, you're getting the medical advice, um, sometimes as a player you, you're your own worst enemy because all you want to do is get back on the park and play again. Um, so those having those protocols there, ultimately to protect you, um, are vitally important. Yeah, and um, on that as well, I mean, the decision has been taken now. It's, it's unfortunate, but I suppose you've already mentioned this is more of almost a safeguarding thing because you don't want to almost go back out there and, and almost wait and see if something happens, do you? No, as I said, retiring early is something no sportsman and, and something I never thought you know would happen to me mm. or would have to consider. Um, but due to the, the number of hits now um, and as I said the medical advice of what another another hit or two to the head may do long term to me um, I think the, be the best thing is to put health first and make the decision now rather than go forward and see you know see it get worse really because each time I've been hit it's taken longer and longer to recover and also the symptoms have been worse and worse each time um, so you know, they say with concussions you just pick up where you left off, often, um, and that's definitely something I've felt. Mm. Well, let's look to the future now, and, and what is next for you? I understand you've been doing some finance qualifications, is that something that you're looking to get into? Definitely, yeah. So whilst I was playing, I did my IMC Level 4 qualifications with the, the CFA, um, and it's something the PCA have been, been brilliant with. They always actively encourage us as players to have ambitions outside the game and, and plan for the future. And it's at, you know, at times like this you realise how vitally important that that is. Um, so going forward I'm hoping to move into the world of finance now. Um, I've got one more exam, like a bolt-on exam to do. Um, and then I'll be fully qualified to, to make that transition and, and move into, into that side of things. Yeah, and lastly, obviously, you're a local local player. You came through the academy, enjoyed a good few years with Derbyshire. What message do you have to the, the members and supporters for your time here? I'm just hugely grateful to, to all the members, all the supporters. Having been a local homegrown player, um, you, you know, coming through the academy, coming through the age group systems, into the first team, um, the supporters and members have always been um, fiercely loyal towards me and, and very kind, you know, over the years. Uh, so I just want to, you know, reiterate to them, you know, how thankful I am towards them, and you know, I hope to see them all around here soon.